So one of the most important stretches that you can do is the frog stretch and the adductor rock back. So I'll show you both. So I'm gonna start on my elbows, knees out, as wide as I can comfortably, toes pointed out with a neutral spine. From here, I'm just gonna rock back and just pulse in and out of this position. Now each time I reach the stretch position, I want to do a nice audible exhale. So, okay. Now once I've done this, again, reminder, I don't wanna go into anything painful, so I shouldn't be clenching my face or holding my breath. It should be just a comfortable pulsing in and out. And as you get warmed up, you'll simply get more deeper in the position. Now once I've found my deep range of, range of motion, after about 10 reps, I'm just gonna hold my breath, sorry, hold, my, I'm hold the position and take about maybe 10 breaths here, okay? And just try and relax ever so deeper and get more comfortable. Now, after that, okay, let's say I've done 10 breaths, I'm gonna slowly just move my knees out just a little bit wider if I can. And I'm gonna repeat the process, okay? So I'm gonna pulse about 10 times, then take 10 breaths in the end range position. And then I'll, again, bring my knees out a little bit wider. So you can do that, honestly, as many cycles as you want, but you know, three and five is a good starting point. Now, after I've, I've finished doing that one, right now we're getting a nice stretch with our you know, shorter adductors, but I also want to stretch out the long adductors of our inner thighs. Okay, these are our inner thigh muscles. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just bring one foot out so it's straight. And now I'm going to do the exact same move. So rocking back, and fourth. And by the way, I want to try and keep a straight line from my knee and my foot, okay? My leg is straight and I'm rocking back. Again, the most critical point and the most common mistake that you'll see is the back rounding to compensate. So if I just go back and let my back round, well, you're just simply putting a lot of, you're putting the stretch on your back which isn't really much of a stretch at all, and you're taking it off your inner thigh. So I would rather you go less range of motion with a straight back than more range of motion than with a rounded back. And so then you can actually get the benefit of the inner thigh stretch here. Now again, once you've done about 10 reps, hold, breathe, get comfortable, and then maybe wiggle your foot out a little bit wider laterally, and now you can repeat the same process. This can get pretty intense, Again, you want to do these stretches with a relaxed face. You're still breathing and you're not holding your breath. Because anytime you're clenching up the face because it's so uncomfortable or you're holding your breath, these are counterintuitive or counterproductive to getting more mobilized. So give it a shot and let me know how it goes.